Flavor family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back at the grocery store for another Flav City short. It's the new year, it's January. It's all about eating healthy, changing your shopping habits and putting the best quality ingredients in your body. So that's what these videos are all about. Before we talk about coffee creamers today, like, subscribe, share, all those important things, but there's a bell icon right below the video. You wanna enable all notifications. That way when our videos go live, you get a push on your device. And we do live streams every week, it's a lot of fun. Okay, you're at the grocery store. You want the best quality coffee creamer to put into your morning coffee? I got it for you, right? This is next level. You might look over here. You might see organic. You might see flavored. This is the one that they have. Well, they have a lot of stores now. Yes, this is, a, this is a rave. Picnic Coffee Creamer. This is a startup from Austin. MCTs, no added sugar, grass-fed butter, grass-fed whey protein. Look at these ingredients, you guys. I've never seen in store-bought coffee creamer these kind of macros. There's zero sugar, a couple of emulsifiers, but not a big deal. Why is that great? Grass-fed dairy is where it's at. We always talk about grass-fed being the best. Number one, it has higher nutritional profile than conventional dairy, but more importantly, it's not eating GMO grains. This is 100% grass-fed, best in class. You can get it a lot of places now, but if you compare that to something like this, Art, this is Organic Valley. Once again, it's organic, USDA. That stamp means a lot, by the way. But it still has French vanilla. So I get nervous. That's why I get nervous. There's six grams of added sugar for a two tablespoon serving. And they're using coconut flavor and vanilla flavor instead of the real deal. You guys, raise your hand if you use two tablespoons of coffee creamer. Probably a little more, right? So you're using anywhere from six to nine grams, which is about two teaspoons of added sugar to your coffee every morning. Not good, right? I would just say, hey, you know what? Get rid of that. Get the Organic Valley half and half. By the way, in case you didn't know, half and half is half milk, half cream, but it's organic, so it's a non-GMO feed. And by the way, by law, organic dairy cattle have to be grass-fed, pasture-raised four months of the year. So use this. Use a few drops of stevia or monk fruit sweetener. Monk fruit sweetener is a one-to-one -one replacement of sugar. That's what you want to get. So very exciting, but guess what? I know a lot of you guys are dairy-free, plant-based. We got you covered with literally next level, next level plant-based almond creamers. Look at this. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Swing around here. This company, Art loves this company called Mulk because it reminds him of Bart Simpson. This is creamer with Oh my God, organic oats. Organic is important with oats, otherwise they are high in glyphosate for conventional oats. Pecans, coconut sugar, a low glycemic sugar, and maple syrup, another low glycemic sugar, Himalayan pink salt, and we only have two grams of sugar in a one tablespoon serving. This is unbelievable. This stuff did not even exist, I wanna say six months ago. They also have a vanilla one here, which is good to go or you can get nut pods. The cool thing about nut pods is that it's very thick and luscious. And the reason why, they're using coconut cream here. Coconut cream is very thick and creamy, but stick with the plain because I find this really puzzling, you guys. This is French vanilla. So riddle me this, Batman. Read the ingredients for me. Do you see any vanilla there? No. I see natural flavors though, and that's where they're getting the vanilla in there. You know my personal crusade against natural flavors. It's just another word for artificial flavors, and that's a prime case of it. So stick with that. I think you would love it. And I hate to say it, but this brand here of Califia, even though it's unsweetened plain, and they're using coconut cream and almond milk, which is nice, for some dreaded reason they put, look at that, natural flavors in there. So I would steer clear of that but you have some other really good options. Hey, dairy or non-dairy, you are covered these days. Why? It's just why I find it so exciting to be in the grocery store. This stuff did not exist five, 10 years ago, or heck, I grew up in the 80s. We had soy milk, we had soy cheese, and that's it. Uh, so that's it. Two more Bobby Flav City shorts are going. We're crushing healthy uh, shopping in the month of January, so like, subscribe, share. Art and I will see you very soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace from the grocery store.